All right, I want to give you some help with uh, this demand homework. I Usually in class, um, we work on this together, uh, and I let folks help each other. So um, uh, it's, it's a challenging uh, worksheet, but uh, it's great, I think, because um, it, it really helps you focus on understanding demand. So read, read the directions, uh, which are fairly long here, fairly carefully. Um, I'm going to open this, by the way, with .cub, which I... Advise you to do as well. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, so you've got a, a demand schedule here. Uh, quantities demanded at various prices, and it's wanting you to graph those. Um, for example, uh, ten at ten cents, people want three hundred fifty million. So ten and three fifty. Put a dot there. And then eventually you're going to have a, um, hold on, let's see here, yeah, so yeah, something like that. Um, and then you answer questions. Uh, it says, um, uh, data from demand curve D indicates that the price of um, 30 cents per degree, buyers willing to buy how many, well, you just look at the schedule there. At 30, uh, they're going to want to buy 150, okay? Uh, and then, um, uh, let's say the price goes to 40 cents, how much would we want to buy? And then such a change in price would be a decrease in demand or quantity demand. It wants you to uh, underline the correct answer. And the correct answer is quantity demanded. Why? Because all that changed was price. I mean, we're just moving up and down this curve here. There's no new curve, no new schedule. That would... That would mean that demand had changed. We're just working on quantity demanded here. Okay, now um, you've got another situation here. Let's say, let's, say, let's say there's a dramatic change in federal income tax rates that affects the disposable income of greed buyers. Um, and so now we've got this new uh, that, that's going to change demand. Changing incomes change changes demands. So we've got this new um, schedule, and it wants us to come back to the same space uh, and to um, uh, graph it. And it's going to look, uh, I'll tell you, something like this. Well, it's going to be straighter than that. But it's going to be a curve shift um, to the left. Uh, and that is going to be, um, let's see here, um, curve shift left is obviously a decrease in demand. This information is on your, uh, your supply and demand handout. Very, very useful. All right. Uh, and so you can compare the two uh, schedules if you want to answer these questions. This question is always a little confusing to people. So the curve shifted left. That must mean people's incomes went down. Uh, and so their incomes decreased due to tax changes. The taxes go up or down. Well, the taxes must have increased. And that led to a decrease in their income, leading to a decrease uh, in their demand for griefs. Then you got a you got a change in uh, taste and preferences for greaves. You got a third um, demand schedule, which we'll also uh, graph here in the same space, uh, and then answer the questions. All right, uh, I like these multiple choice questions, but they're kind of challenging uh, initially, uh, and usually we go over them in class. So I'll just tell you the answers. Um, let's see. Um, other things constant. Which of the following would not? Cause a change in the demand shift, uh, change in demand, i.e., a shift in the demand curve for mopeds. Stop right there. When you get a question like that, before you even um, look at the distractors, think to yourself, what what will not change the demand for mopeds? Well, the price of mopeds. Is that a choice? Yes, it is. And so B is the correct answer. Uh, price of bicycles. Bicycles are a substitute good, so that that would change uh, demand for mopeds. Uh, let's see here. Um, rising oil prices have caused a sharp decrease in the demand for oil. It's a quote, like in a newspaper. Speaking precisely and using terms as they are defined by economists, choose the statement that best describes this quotation. Well, the price of oil won't change demand for oil. It will change the quantity demanded. So the answer, the correct answer is C. Quotation is incorrect. An increase in price causes a decrease in the quantity quantity demanded, not a decrease in demand itself. Finally, 
Another quote, as the price of domestic automobiles has inched upward, customers have found foreign autos to be a better bargain. Consequently, domestic auto sales have been decreasing and foreign auto sales have been increasing. These are two substitute goods, domestic, uh, American, and, and foreign autos. Using one of the information in this quotation, assuming everything else constant, ceteris paribus, um, which of the following best describes this statement? Well, uh, domestic cars are getting more expensive, so the demand curve for those is not changing. We are moving up and down it. Um, ah, so C, a movement along the demand curve for domestic autos, and because people are buying fewer American cars, they therefore demand more foreign autos. That is a shift in the demand curve for foreign autos. So the correct answer is C. I hope that makes sense. Now finally, we've got uh, beef in May. Uh, beef in May, that's what we're talking about the market for here. And we've got these headlines describing certain things that, are, that might or might not shift the demand curve for beef. Well, right away, what's not going to shift the demand curve for beef in May? The price of beef in May. Is that a choice? Yes. Uh, five, beef prices fall, consumers buy more. Is that a demand curve shift? Yes or no? Uh, well, um, it's, it's, it's no. All right. Um, I will tell you uh, every other one is, is yes. So let's just work through one. Price of beef to rise in June. Um, does that shift the demand curve? Well, that's that's June. We're talking about the price uh, or about the market for beef in May. So that is price expectation. So yes, that will uh, shift the demand curve. Will it go left or right? Well, this information is on your supply and demand handout. Um, uh, an uh if people think beef is going to be expensive next month, their demand for it right now is going to go up. And so that is going to be an increase uh, in demand. And uh, does that mean a curve shift left or right? Well, an increase is a curve shift right. Again, this information is on your handout, so it's going to go right. And the new curve, therefore, is going to be, well, assuming you're always starting at B, uh, we're going to the right this way, the new curve, of course, is uh, C. I'm going to count C. All right. If it's an increase, it's always a curve shift right, and the, end, the new curve is always C. If it's a decrease, it's always a curve shift left, and the new curve is A. I hope uh, this information helps. Um, and so, good luck.